I'm Liz. And I'm Sarah. And yes, you're in the right place. This is Cosmic Adventures. In this episode, we'll discuss 10 big changes in astronomy. As you may have noticed, I am not Bill, though we do have similar hair and clothing choices. You're being way too hard on yourself. Anyway, yes, Bill switched to our sister publication, Discover, and Sarah has joined the astronomy staff just a few months ago. So I'm Liz's new partner in crime, big time astronomical crime. Yes. Okay, now that we've established the cast, our next big astronomy change is da da da, learning that light acts as both a particle and a wave. And we don't just mean visible light, but the entire electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves up to gamma rays. One of our favorite physicists, that would be Albert Einstein, was extremely important in this discovery. His 1905 explanation of the photoelectric effect described that light was made of small particles called photons with energy proportional to light's frequency. Imagine little pockets of energy hitting you constantly. That's what radiation is. You make photons sound so annoying. They are. Maybe you do feel that way, since our third big change in astronomy is the fact that everything is relative. It's obvious enough, right? It's true in social situations, and it's true in space. The overachiever Einstein thought this one up too. His special theory of relativity says if you move fast compared to a friend, that friend will see time moving more slowly and distances becoming shorter for you. Not exactly fair. And general relativity describes how the fabric of the universe, space-time, warps in response to objects with mass. The next on our list of big ideas is the realization that most of those fuzzy splotches in the sky aren't nebulae within our Milky Way, but instead are galaxies far, far away. When astronomers began collecting more and more evidence for this, in the early 1900s, the astronomy community was split between those who thought the universe was made of only one galaxy and we were inside of it, and those who thought our Milky Way was one of many in a larger universe. After scientists knew those cloudy things were galaxies, they began to study them in detail. One group, led by Vera Rubin, looked at the velocities of stars at different distances from the center of a galaxy to map the galaxy's rotation. Surprise! The stars in the outer regions were traveling too fast they should have escaped the galaxy, but something must have been gravitationally holding them in and giving them that kind of velocity in the first place. That something is what astronomers call dark matter. Because it is dark and it appears to matter. Ha! Huh. Get it? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Mm. But really, it sure does, and so does another finding about galaxies. The sixth big change is that galaxies are moving away from one another. That means that the universe is expanding. And it gets even crazier. That expansion is speeding up. Galaxies are moving away from one another faster than they were 3 billion years ago, which is faster than they were moving 8 billion years ago. That is even crazier. It keeps me awake at night. I'm sorry. So the next big change is when astronomers realized what powers stars. Now we know that in stars like the Sun, four hydrogen nuclei fuse to form helium. But before anyone could discover that, British scientist Francis Aston needed to discover that four hydrogen atoms have more mass than just one helium atom. That missing mass has to go somewhere, and later German astronomer Hans Bethe proved that it turned into energy. He found that the mass, m, in the equation E equals mc squared converted to enough energy, E, to power a star. Einstein comes through once again. What a reliable guy. That's what everybody says about Einstein. Bringing it closer to home, we'll visit the red planet for our ninth big change. The human mind likes to think of aliens and life on other planets, and so many observers thought they saw an intricate canal system built into Mars. By whom, you might ask? Well, by little green men and women, obviously. Yes. 
glad you were very gender neutral. Yeah, and just I just wanted to, everyone. you know, the women are working mm -hmm. hard too with those canals. <laughs> Turns out, wait for it, there's no canal system on Mars. We know you're disappointed. We are too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What appeared from afar to be passageways were actually cracks and craters and dried up riverbeds on the red planet. That's what Mariner 4 saw when it flew by Mars in 1965. And the last big change in astronomy is the discovery of planets in other stellar systems. In 1992, scientists announced that they had found worlds orbiting other stars. Excitement isn't a strong enough word to describe mm -hmm. this discovery. Actually, the phrase jumping up and down ecstatically comes to mind yeah, first. Yeah, I'd agree. And now, astronomers have a list of more than 800 confirmed exoplanets and around 2,500 candidate worlds. It's an exciting time in astronomy, a jumping up and down time. These big changes are all important, but we only had time to mention a few of them. So what's your favorite discovery, and how did it shift the field of astronomy? Let us know by commenting below or writing to us at cosmicadventures at astronomy.com. See you next time. Bye. Liz and Bill's no. Cosmic 20. No. Sarah. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. As you may have noticed, I am not Bill, though we do, do have. That's right. I read do as dough. So yeah. that's. Because it is dark and it appears to matter. Huh? Get it? Hey, guys. No, it's not fun. Hey, awesome. Uh, I'm glad that you get back into these things. It's been a long time. Oh, hey, Sarah. Hey, Bill. It's a awkward. It's not, it's not awkward. It's no? cool. Hey, um, what's what's you know, up? We have something to tell you. you what you've been doing? replaced by Sarah. Yeah, hi. I'm Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Bill. It was good before. Sorry, we changed our mind. He's crying. Thanks for joining us, Bill. Yeah. It was my pleasure. Be beta. 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 So, uh, take it from the top. Because that whole tape was horrible. Mm. You're crushing my ego. Mm. That was a joke. I don't oh. understand jokes. Oh, okay. <laughs>